begin with that Channel 2 Investigates exclusive. The law is clear. You cannot offer cash or other benefits to a public servant for personal gain. That's called bribery. So when Channel 2 Investigates found an email outlining a half million dollar offer sent to two high ranking city of Houston officials asking for the mayor's help in a private land deal, we wanted to know more. Here's investigator Mario Diaz with the exclusive. As an investigator investigating public corruption, this would literally floor you. $500,000, they put this in an email. This, this is a, a smoking gun moment. They should have called the FBI. What this is, is, uh, is indication that a crime occurred. Did you ever receive an email for over... William Paul Thomas is the director of City Council Relations. Andy Ickin, the city of Houston's chief development officer. Both have the ear of Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner as key members of his inner circle. But neither are talking to Channel 2 Investigates about this email, the focus of our investigation. $500,000. $500,000, they put this in an email. Michael Wynn spent 12 years in the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of Texas. I've seen a lot of, you know, emails that have gotten people in a lot of trouble. I'm not sure how often I've seen something that is this straightforward laying out the quid pro quo that they have in mind. That is the money in return for, uh, you know, closing a deal. The email in question sent to William Paul Thomas and Andy Ickin on August 11th, 2017 by Jason Yu, a man who has done business with the city for years, primarily through concession contracts at Bush Intercontinental Airport. But in this email, Yu is working a private real estate deal for he and his partners. The offer? $348 million. It involves BP's headquarters on the city's west side. And you wants help from City Hall to get this private deal done. So he sends an email to Thomas and Ickin requesting Mayor Turner talk with the CEO of BP to see if they can work with you and his partners on the deal. And here's the line that is raising concerns. You adds, I will donate $500,000 to city or other charity firms that mayor wants, all contingent of the deal closing. The offer that he made was, was very clear and very specific. Mark Stevens, a former lead investigator for HPD's defunct Public Integrity Unit, says the email is problematic. They should immediately open an investigation. On the face of it, it looks like it is a bribe. What should have been done the moment this email was received? Somebody should have called the FBI. But they didn't. Ten days later, Thomas and Ickin tell you the two have spoken to determine the feasibility of your request. The mayor's spokesperson emailed Channel 2 Investigates telling us this matter was never discussed with the mayor. The administration does not conduct business that way. But the digital trail reveals a different story. On August 22, 2017, Thomas emails the mayor's executive assistant, Brenda Murphy, stating clearly the mayor agreed to meet with you regarding the BP deal. This matter was never brought up or discussed with me, Mario. Never. After city council, Mayor Turner said he was completely unaware of the email until we gave it to his office a day earlier. The email was inappropriate. And the people who work here at the city my staff individuals looked at it and they never did not take any action on it. But emails show Thomas and Ickin did discuss it. Thomas emailing Ickin financials of Jason Yu's private deal. And after Thomas writes that the mayor agreed to meet with you, Thomas then sends the thread of internal city emails to you, telling him, I'm on this, relax. Ultimately, Mayor Turner made the decision not to meet with you. My only request is that you air what is factually correct. No discussions, never saw the email until you presented it to the city on yesterday. Federal law is clear. The bribery statute reads, the intent to give or receive something of value in exchange for an official act is a violation. 
The state of Texas also has a similar law on the books. Law enforcement has a job. Right. If they don't investigate this, are they failing at their job? Yes. They are. If that came across my desk, I'd be getting an agent on it immediately. Since Mayor Turner first says he first learned of the email and offer yesterday, Wynn and Stevens tell me tonight the mayor should turn the email over to law enforcement. And we did ask the mayor's office whether or not he has reached out to authorities. His team has yet to answer our question. As for you, he did acknowledge to Channel 2 Investigates that he did email the offer in 2017. Dominique and Keith, we also asked the mayor's office about a review of city contracts involving you. Once again, mm -hmm. the mayor's office has not responded to that question. We have more reporting to come on this. Okay, Mario, thank you very much. Just a reminder to our audience, if you have a story for Channel 2 Investigates, contact the tip line 713-223-TIPS or email investigates at kprc.com.